609 now. This morning, Hurricane Dorian is bearing down on the southeastern U.S. coast. CNN's Connor Powell is live this morning in Charleston, South Carolina. And Connor, what are the conditions like where you are right now? Definitely seeing the wind pick up, definitely seeing strong rain in the last couple of hours. The storm is really starting to pound both Georgia and the Charleston and the surrounding areas the last uh, couple of hours. But the, really the worst is still yet to come. I mean, take a look behind me. You can see the, the mass of the boats behind me. They're really starting to rock and to bounce. The, the water is getting much choppier as the wind picks up. But what we're expecting in the next couple of hours is to see stronger wind gusts and more rain. And the real concern is is the 15 to 20 inches of rain that's going to be dropped on Charleston and the surrounding areas in the next few hours because it's uh, around 2 p.m. or so it will be high tide and they're expecting strong uh, surge uh, tides of here in, in, in all morning, all afternoon. The rain and the storm surge could really cause flooding in Charleston, but maybe even historic flooding here uh, because of the high storm surge and also because of the amount of rain. That's what we're keeping an eye out for. Right now, the winds are strong, um, but we're not seeing anything that uh, probably Charleston can't handle. The bigger question is, is what's going to happen when that storm surge and the rain, the 15 to 20 inches of rain, all collect in the lower uh, area down here. And Connor, uh, how are some of the people up there preparing? I know I saw on your Twitter page that 35 miles outside of Charleston, they're even putting plywood up at those gas stations. What are some of the other ways you're seeing people prepare? Yeah, I mean, we saw the usual stuff, obviously, a lot of boarding up of windows, a lot of sandbags, a lot of getting out of here. I talked to a lot of people both leaving and then just on text messaging, uh, you know, people going to Columbia, South Carolina, where it's obviously a lot drier and uh, they're not expecting any of the really awful weather here. We've also talked to a lot of people who are just riding it out. I talked to one family that they got four kids and two dogs and uh, the mother just said we can't leave. And we met a lot of people who were trying to get gas uh, this afternoon. Uh, that was a real problem. We talked to one girl who and her mother who had gone to six different gas stations trying to find gas. Uh, a lot of places were closed. A lot of places were uh, out of gas. So a lot of different preparations here. Um, I think a lot of it is sort of the comfort of where you live and then also how much do you have to move here. If you've got a lot of kids and animals, it's a lot harder to get out of here. So they're just going to ride it out and hope that the flooding is in the lower areas and not into some of the downtown historic areas and to Mount Pleasant and some of these areas. Thank you so much, Connor Powell, reporting for us live in Charleston, South Carolina this morning.